Hey, this is Pat, and today we're checking out the all-new OGO TB tail bags. Now, the TB tail bags, there's both a TB1 as well as a TB2, are tail bags with a hard structure designed for storing a lot of stuff for you commuter riders out there and touring riders that are trying to add some sort of luggage to your bike. These might just be the best option for you out there. Uh, compared to other ones that we've seen, they're usually a little bit softer main construction or they're a little bit more flexible. I like the overall design of these OGOs because they hold their shape, which means at high speeds, they're also gonna hold their shape if you're going down the highway and you're putting a lot of miles down. If you're looking for storage on the tail of your bike, these two options might just be the best options out there for you. Before I get to uh, talking about the actual bags themselves, one of the biggest questions we get about these is how do they mount? And OGO actually paired up with uh, Ram mount to create this easy mount system that snaps into the base of the tail bag. So if you're going you know, into the hotel or if you're going into a, a stop and you want to take your bag with you, you can easily disconnect the bag and leave the harness system strapped to your bike. So it's nice and easy. It does add a little bit of bulk because it sits a little bit higher off your bike, but it has universal mounting systems with these straps. So you can loop them around the rail of your bike, the foot, the passenger foot pegs, whatever you have on there to go ahead and mount it up. That gives you a quick access port to the actual bag itself. So keep that. This is included with each of the bags when you buy it. So it's not something you have to worry about adding on separately. This will be included with each of the bags. I'm just giving you a shot of the base. It's gonna be identical for both the TB1 as well as the TB2. I have the TB2, the bigger version right here in front of me. And you can actually see if I pull on this tab up here, it's gonna go ahead and release the quick buckle easy mount system underneath. So it's nice and easy, easy to grab with a gloved hand. It's very thick TPR up top on there and a really clever design that we've seen. We've seen other brands using this from a tank bag style where you can actually put it on the gas, uh, gas cap ring. It's nice to see a new, a new style coming out there with the tail bag. Bags on there. But I mentioned before, it is a thermo molded, thermo formed EVA main construction with a poly carbon weave over top. So it's not real carbon fiber. It is polyester that is woven into a carbon esque weave, which I think gives it a pretty sleek overall design. Now, I mentioned it before, I have the TB2 in front of me. The TB1 is on my left. The TB1 is a little bit smaller. It's going to be the 14 liter size compared to the TB2's 21 liter size. Both are expandable, both have pockets on the inside, which I'll show you in a second but I just wanted to give you a nice overall profile of it. Although the TB1 does stand a little bit taller, the footprint and the width and the length of the TB2 is obviously bigger to get that 21 liter capacity. It's $170 for the uh, TB1 and currently $200 for the TB2. Now I'm gonna continue on with just the TB2 because again, otherwise they are identical, but I'd like to draw attention to a lot of the cool, clever designs that OGO is bringing out there. First one being just well hidden reflective all the way throughout. There's a couple patches of it throughout that actually do, like I said, look very well. I don't think it's something that is overly noticeable, but I like that they have it on there just to give a little bit of pop, including the rimming all the way around the bag. The other thing is the straps to actually keep down the zipper to pull in the zipper or have snaps on them that match up with homes so you can put them away so they're not flapping around or anything like that or running the risk of opening while you're at speed. You get that on the opening straps. You also get it on the expansion zipper strap too, which I'll pull, I'll pull around here is right next to the TPR tab. You can release that and then unzip it all the way around and the top will actually expand up with polyester. So you can see you get a little bit more to the internal space of the main compartment when you need it and pulling it down just to streamline it a little bit. So let's get you a good glimpse of the interior here. If we're looking at the interior, the one thing that come with it other than the mount itself is gonna be a roll top bag for our waterproofing. Again, since this isn't going to be a waterproof main construction, they're giving you this bag. They can roll all your valuables up inside and make it waterproof should you need to. It's gonna hold itself to water resistant with that thermoformed EVA on the outside. But I do like that they're giving you the waterproofing just to really accompany it because most people out there, if you're touring long distance, it's gonna rain, you're gonna run into it eventually. You also get a shoulder strap for the interior as well, or I'm sorry, for the exterior, if you want to carry it around. And then a really cool little add-on that both get is this little Velcro pouch bag. If you need to add like valuables or keys or little tools, maybe 10 millimeters, things like that, and Allen wrenches, it will stick. It's Velcro and the entire thing is micro on because you can actually position it wherever you want and it's going to hold its spot all the way around. So I really dig that. Take a look at the interior. You can, like I said, you can see it's a nice soft interior. If you need to make it waterproofing, that's where you can go ahead and add that waterproof roll top bag. So really simple interior and a reinforced base 
for that easy mount ram system in there but all in i really dig what ogo is doing with these two bags it's nice to see some more hard formed bags out on the market for the tail most are just roll tops most are you know soft backpack style bags that can be stored on the back of the bike i like that ogo is using a harder form to it and i really dig that they're pairing up with ram for a quick release system and an easy mounting system regardless of which bike you're adding these onto but if you have any other questions go ahead and click that info button that's going to take you over to the product page where you can read other rider reviews and see what other riders are saying about the new tb bags if you still have questions after that or if you're trying to figure out which one is right for you your contents that you're taking on your ride or what you're looking to store away give us a call our customer service agents are all riders happy to help you get set up for your next ride i want to thank you for joining us and taking a look at the ogo tb1 and tb2 tail bags i'm pat and i'll see you in the next video